Disclaimer, the answers provided here are gathered from various sources, including search engines like Google, video sharing platforms like YouTube, and other online platforms. We do not claim or guarantee the accuracy, reliability, or authenticity of the answers. Please be aware that the information presented here is based on publicly available data, and it may not always reflect the most current or accurate information. The answers are intended for general informational purposes and should not be considered as the sole source of information for critical decisions or important applications. Users are strongly encouraged to independently verify any information obtained from this platform or other sources before relying on it for decision-making or other purposes. It is essential to exercise discretion and critical thinking when evaluating and using the information provided. We do not assume any responsibility or liability for the accuracy or completeness of the answers or for any actions taken based on the information presented here. Users use this platform and its answers at their own discretion and risk. Which of the following is not a feature of DBMS? A. Minimum duplication and redundancy of data. B. High level of security. C. Single user access only. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Single user access only, explanation, all of the other options are features of a DBMS. DBMSs are designed to store data in a structured and efficient way and to make it easy to access and manage data. This includes reducing redundancy, providing security, and allowing multiple users to access the data at the same time. Single user access is not a feature of DBMSs. In fact, one of the key advantages of DBMSs is that they allow multiple users to access and share data simultaneously. This makes them ideal for use in business and other organizations where multiple people need access to the same data. Here is a summary of the other features of DBMSs, minimum duplication and redundancy of data. DBMSs use a variety of techniques to reduce redundancy, such as normalization and constraints. This helps to save storage space and improve data integrity. High level of security. DBMSs provide a variety of security features such as user authentication and authorization, encryption, and auditing. This helps to protect data from unauthorized access and modification. More than one user can access the data at the same time. DBMSs allow multiple users to access and share data simultaneously. This is done by using a concurrency control mechanism to ensure that data is always consistent, even when multiple users are accessing it at the same time. Which of the following statements is not true about the doubly linked list? A. We can traverse in both the directions. B. It requires extra space. C. Implementation of doubly linked list is easier than the singly linked list. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Implementation of doubly linked list is easier than the singly linked list. Explanation, statement, A is true. Doubly linked lists have two pointers, one to the next node and one to the previous node, which allows traversal in both directions. Statement, B is true. Doubly linked lists require extra space to store the two pointers in each node. Statement, C is false. Doubly linked lists are more complex to, imp to implement than singly linked lists because they require two pointers in each node. Statement D is not true because only statement C is false. Statement E is not true because all of the other statements are true. Therefore, the answer is C. Dot. Here is a summary of the features of doubly linked lists. They allow traversal in both directions. They require extra space to store the two pointers in each node. They are more complex to implement than singly linked lists. Doubly linked lists are a useful data structure for applications where it is necessary to traverse the list in both directions, such as caching and least recently used LIU algorithms. The values appearing in given attributes of any tuple in the referencing relation must likewise occur in specified attributes of at least one tuple in the referenced relation, according to underscore 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 integrity constraint. A. Referential. B. Primary. C. Referencing. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Referential. Explanation. A referential integrity constraint is a database constraint that ensures that all foreign key values in a table reference a valid primary key value in another table. This helps to maintain the accuracy and consistency of data in a database. Which of the following options is not true about the binary search tree? 
A. The value of the left child should be less than the root node. B. The value of the right child should be greater than the root node. C. The left and right subtrees should also be a binary search tree. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. More than one of the above. Explanation. Here is a summary of the properties of binary search trees. Each node has at most two children. The value of the left child must be less than or equal to the root node. The value of the right child must be greater than or equal to the root node. The left and right subtrees must also be binary search trees. Binary search trees are a useful data structure for storing and searching data. They allow for efficient searching because the data is sorted in a specific order. Here is an example of a binary search tree. In this example, the value of the left child of the root node, 10, is 5, which is less than or equal to 10. The value of the right child of the root node, 10, is 15, which is greater than or equal to 10. The left and right subtrees are also binary search trees. Binary search trees are used in a variety of applications, such as databases, compilers, and operating systems. The expression y is equal to a bcac shows the dash operation a xo b sop c post d more than one of the above e none of the above answer sop explanation the expression y is equal to a bcac shows the sum of products sop operation the sop form of a boolean function is a disjunction of conjunctions of the input variables in other words it is a sum of terms where each term is a product of the input variables the pos form of a boolean function is a conjunction of disjunctions of the input variables in other words it is a product of terms where each term is is a sum of the input variables the xor operation is a binary operation that returns one if the two inputs are different and zero if the two inputs are the same therefore the answer is b what are the canonical forms of Boolean expressions? A. Or an XOR. B. Nor an XNOR. C. Som and POM. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Som and POM. Explanation. There are two kinds of canonical forms for a Boolean expression. 1. Sum of min terms. Som. Form and. 2. Product of max terms. Som. Form. Derive the Boolean expression for the logic circuit shown below. A C A B D B C A B D E C C A B D E D More than one of the above E None of the above Answer C A B D Boolean algebra can be used A for designing the digital computers B in building logic symbols C in circuit theory D More than one of the above E None of the above Answer more than one of the above, explanation, Boolean algebra can be used for various purposes, including, designing digital computers, Boolean algebra is fundamental to the design and operation of digital computers and digital circuits, b, building logic symbols, Boolean algebra is used to create and represent logic symbols and equations for digital logic gates and circuits, c, circuit theory, Boolean algebra plays a crucial role in analyzing and simplifying digital circuits in circuit theory so it is used in more than one of the above applications what does the control unit generate to control other units a transfer signals b command signals c control signals d more than one of the above e none of the above answer control signals explanation the control unit generates control signals to manage and coordinate the activities of various other units within the computer's central processing unit cpu these control signals are responsible for tasks like fetching instructions from memory, decoding them, executing them, and managing the flow of data between different components. Therefore, control signals are essential for controlling the operations of the CPU and the entire computer system. To display time in railway stations which digital circuit is used, A. 7-segment decoder, B. 8-segment encoder, C. 8-3 multiplexer, D. More than one of the above, E. None of the above. Answer. Control signals. Explanation. Key answer is A. Seven segment decoder. Seven segment decoders are used to display time in railway stations. A seven segment decoder is a digital circuit that converts a 4 bit binary code into the seven segment code that is used to drive a seven segment display. A seven segment display is a type of display device that consists of seven segments of light emitting diodes, LEDs.
The seven segments are arranged in a specific pattern to form numbers and letters. The seven segment decoder converts the 4 bit binary code into the seven segment code by turning on the appropriate segments of the seven segment display. For example, the 4 bit binary code 0000 represents the number 0. So the seven segment decoder would turn on the top, bottom, middle, and left segments of the seven segment display. Seven segment decoders are commonly used in a variety of applications, including clocks, watches, and calculators. They are also used in railway stations to display time and other information to passengers. Here is a diagram of a seven segment decoder. The 4 bit binary code is input to the seven segment decoder on the left side of the circuit. The seven segment code is output on the right side of the circuit. Seven segment decoders are a relatively simple and inexpensive way to display time and other information in a variety of applications. What kind of transmission medium is most appropriate to carry data in a computer network that is exposed to electrical interference? A. Unshielded twisted pair. B. Optical fiber. C. Coaxial cable. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer is optical fiber. Explanation. The answer is B. Optical fiber. Optical fiber is the most appropriate transmission medium to carry data in a computer network that is exposed to electrical interference. Optical fiber is a glass or plastic cable that transmits data using light signals. Light signals are not affected by electrical interference, so optical fiber is immune to EMI and RFI. Dot. Other transmission media, such as unshielded twisted pair, UTP, and coaxial cable, are susceptible to electrical interference. UTP cables are made of twisted pairs of copper wires, which can pick up EMI and RFI from nearby electrical devices. Coaxial cables have a copper core wire surrounded by a braided metal shield, which provides some protection from EMI and RFI, but they are not as immune as optical fiber. Optical fiber is also a very high bandwidth medium, with medium, which means that it can carry large amounts of data at high speeds. This makes it ideal for use in computer networks, especially in networks that carry a lot of traffic or that need to support high-speed applications such as streaming video and gaming. Here is a table comparing the different transmission media. Optical fiber is the best choice for a computer network that is exposed to electrical interference. It is immune to EMI and RFI, and it has a very high bandwidth. Which network topology requires a central controller or hub? A. Star. B. Mesh. C. Ring. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer is star. Explanation. The network topology that requires a central controller or hub is the star topology. In a star topology, all devices in the network are connected to a central hub or switch, and communication between devices goes through the hub. This central hub acts as a controller and plays a crucial role in managing data traffic within the network. A collection of hyperlinked documents on the internet forms the A. World Wide Web www b. Email system, c. Mailing list, d. More than one of the above, e. None of the above. Answer. World Wide Web, www. Explanation. A collection of hyperlinked documents on the internet forms the World Wide Web, www. Often referred to simply as the web. The World Wide Web is a vast system of interlinked web pages and documents that are accessible over the internet through web browsers. It is one of the most popular and widely used services on the internet, allowing users to navigate and access information easily through hyperlinks. Which of the following is not a step in the header translation procedure? A. The IPv6 map address is changed to an IPv4 address by extracting the rightmost 32 bits. B. The value of the IPv6 priority field is discarded. C. The IPv6 flow label is considered. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. The IPv6 flow label is considered. Explanation. The IPv6 flow label is not typically considered or used as part of the header translation procedure when translating between IPv6 and IPv4. Options A and B describe steps related to address translation and priority field handling, which are more relevant in the header translation process. Which one of the following would breach the integrity of a system? A. Locking the room to prevent theft. B. Full access rights for all users. C. Fitting the system with an anti-theft device. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above.
Answer. Full access rights for all users. Explanation. Granting full access rights to all users would breach the integrity of a system because it would allow unrestricted access to the system and its data, making it vulnerable to unauthorized modifications and potential security breaches. Maintaining proper access control and only granting necessary access to authorized users is essential for system integrity and security. Which sublayer of the data link layer performs data link functions that depend upon the type of medium? A. Logical link control sublayer. B. Media access control sublayer. C. Network interface control sublayer. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Media access control. MAC. Sublayer. Explanation. The media access control. MAC. Sublayer of the data link layer performs data link functions that depend upon the type of medium. The MAC sublayer controls access to the physical medium, manages frame transmission, uses MAC addresses for addressing devices on the network, deals with transmission of data packets to and from the network interface card, prevents collision using protocols like CSMA-CD, responsible for flow control and multiplexing for transmission medium. Which one of the following is not a network topology? A. Peer-to-peer. -peer, B. Ring. C. Bus. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Peer-to-peer. -peer. Explanation. Peer-to-peer -peer is not a network topology. It is a network architecture or network model. Peer-to-peer -peer networking refers to a decentralized network where devices, peers, can communicate directly with each other without the need for a central server or hub. Network topologies, on the other hand, describe the physical or logical layout of the network's components and how they are connected. Examples of network topologies include star, bus, ring, and mesh. How do structures and classes in C differ? A. Structures by default hide every member whereas classes do not. B. In structures, members are public by default, whereas, in classes, they are private by default. C. Structures cannot have private members whereas classes can have d more than one of the above e none of the above answer in structures members are public by default whereas in classes they are private by default explanation the answer is b in structures members are public by default whereas in classes they are private by default here is a table summarizing the key differences between structures and classes in c when the mail server sends mail to other mail servers it becomes a. SMTP client b. SMTP server c. peer d. more than one of the above e. none of the above Answer. SMTP client Explanation. When a mail server sends mail to other mail servers, it acts as an SMTP, simple mail transfer protocol, client. SMTP is the protocol used for sending email messages between servers and for relaying messages to their intended recipients. In this context, the sending mail server initiates communication with the receiving mail server as an SMTP client to deliver the email. The length of an IPv6 address is a. 32 bits, b. 64 bits, c. 256 bits, d. More than one of the above, e. None of the above. Answer. None of the above. Explanation. The length of an IPv6 address is 128 bits. IPv6. Internet Protocol version 6 uses 128-bit addresses, which provide a much larger address space compared to the 32-bit addresses used in IPv4. This increased address space is necessary to accommodate the growing number of devices connected to the Internet. What is the use of iOS, trunk mode, A. To open a file in input mode, B. To open a file in output mode, C. To truncate an existing file to zero, D. More than one of the above, E. None of the above. Answer. To truncate an existing file to zero. Explanation. The iOS trunk mode is used to open a file in output mode and, at the same time, truncate the file to zero length if it already exists. This mode is often used when you want to open a file for writing and you want to start with an empty file, removing any previous content if it existed. Which layer of the TCP IP stack corresponds to the OSI model transport layer? A. Host to host. B. Application. C. Internet. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Host to host. Explanation. The host to host layer of the TCP IP stack corresponds to the transport layer of the OSI model. The host to host layer is responsible for 
establishing and managing end-to-end -end communication sessions between devices, determining the path through which data is transmitted, ensuring end-to-end -end data integrity. The host-to-host -host layer is one of four layers in the TCP IP stack. The other layers are application process, internet, network access. The two most important. Which of the following statements is our correct? 1. It is not possible to combine two or more files opening mode in open method. 2. It is possible to combine two or more files opening mode in open method. 3. iOS. In an iOS, out are input and output file opening modes respectively. A. 1. 3. B. 2. 3. C. 3. Only. D. More than one of the above. E. The above. E. None of the above. Answer. 2. 3. Explanation. It is possible to combine two or more files opening modes in the open method. For example, you can combine iOS in and iOS binary to open a file for binary input. iOS in and iOS out are indeed input and output file opening modes, respectively. So, the correct statements are 2 and 3. Which of the following is true with regard to the ping command? A. Ping stands for Packet Internet Generator. B. The ping command checks the port level connectivity between source destinations endpoints. C. Ping summarizes the packet loss and round trip delay between two IP endpoints. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Ping summarizes the packet loss and round trip delay between two IP endpoints. Explanation. The ping command is used to test the reachability of a host on an internet protocol, IP network. It sends ICMP, Internet Control Message Protocol, echo request packets to the target host and measures the round-trip time for those packets to return. It also provides information about packet loss and other statistics. Option C accurately describes the purpose and functionality of the ping com. The correct statement for a function that takes pointer to a float, a pointer to a pointer to a car, and returns a pointer to a pointer to an integer is A. INT fun, float, car. B. INT fun, float, car. C. INT fun, float, car. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. INT fun, float, car. Dot. Explanation. The function declaration tells us that the function takes two arguments, a pointer to a float and a pointer to a pointer to a car. The function returns a pointer to a pointer to an integer. The following is a valid function definition for fun. The function could be used to implement a variety of differ. The private key in asymmetric key cryptography is kept by A. Sender B. Receiver C. Sender and Receiver D. More than one of the above E. None of the above Answer. Receiver Explanation In asymmetric key cryptography, the private key is kept by the receiver. The receiver uses their private key to decrypt messages that have been encrypted with their public key ensuring that only they can read the messages sent to them. What will be the output of the following C code? A. 6. B. 24. C. Segmentation fault. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Which of the following features must be supported by any programming language to become a pure object-oriented programming language? A. Encapsulation. B. Inheritance. C. Polymorphism. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. More than one of the above. Explanation. To be considered a pure object-oriented programming language, a programming language must support multiple fundamental features, including encapsulation, the ability to encapsulate data and methods within objects, allowing data hiding and access control, inheritance, the ability to create new classes, derived or subclass, based on existing classes, base or superclass, inheriting their properties and behaviors, polymorphism, the ability to us. Which is correct syntax of inheritance? A. Class base underscore class name, access derived underscore class name, define class body. B. Class derived underscore class name, access base underscore class name, define class body. C. Class derived underscore class name, base underscore class name, define, class body, D, more than one of the above, E, none of the above. Answer, class derived underscore class name, access base underscore class name, define class body, explanation, the correct syntax of inheritance in C is, where, derived underscore class name is the name of the derived class, access is the access specifier, 
which controls which members of the base class are accessible to the derived class. The possible access specifiers are public, protected, and private. Base underscore class name is the name of the base CL. Which one of the following is the correct definition of is underscore ray function in C? A. It checks that the specified variable is of the array or not. B. It checks that the specified array is of single dimension or not. C. It checks that the specified array is of multidimension or not. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. It checks that the specified variable is of the array or not. Explanation. The is underscore array function in C is used to check whether a specified variable is an array or not. This function returns true if the variable is an array and false otherwise. Which of the following statements is correct about the class? A. An object is an instance of its class. B. A class is an instance of its object. C. An object is the instance of the data type of that class. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. An object is an instance of its class. Explanation. An object-oriented programming. An object is an instance of a class. This means that objects are created based on the blueprint provided by a class and they encapsulate both data, attributes, and behaviors, methods, defined in that class. So, the correct statement is that an object is an instance of its class. Which of the following can be used to create an abstract class in the C programming language? A. By using the pure virtual function in the class. B. By declaring a virtual function in the base class. C. By declaring the virtual keyword afterward the class declaration. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. By using the pure virtual function in the class. Explanation. A pure virtual function is a virtual function that does not have an implementation in the base class. Pure virtual functions are declared by using the is equal to zero specifier after the function declaration. Abstract classes are classes that contain at least one pure virtual function. Abstract classes cannot be instantiated, but they can be used as base classes for other classes. Which of the following statements is correct about the C programming language? A. In C, both the static and dynamic types checking are allowed. B. In C, member function are allowed to be of the type const. C. In C, dynamic, dynamic checking is allowed. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. More than one of the above. Explanation. All of the following statements are correct about the C programming language. C allows both static and dynamic type checking. C allows static member function to be of type const. C allows dynamic type checking. In C, the compiler checks types. Which feature of OOP is indicated by the following code? Class student. INT marks, class topper, public student, INT age, topper, INT age, this dot age is equal to age, A, encapsulation and inheritance, B, inheritance and polymorphism, C, polymorphism, D, more than one of the above, E, none of the above. Explanation, the answer is, A, encapsulation and inheritance, the code you provided defines a class called student with a member variable called marks. It then defines a class called topper that inherits from the student class. The topper class adds a new member variable called age and a constructor that takes an age as an argument. Encapsulation is the process of binding data and code together into a single unit called an object. This allows objects to hide their internal implementation details from the outside world. Inheritance is the process of creating a new class from an existing class. The new class inherits all of the data and code from the existing class, and it can also add its own data and code. In the example you provided, the topper class inherits from the student class. This means that topper objects have access to all of the data and code of student objects, including the marks member variable. Therefore, the code you provided demonstrates both encapsulation and inheritance. Which of the following natural elements is the primary element in computer chips? A carbon, B, silicon, C, iron, D, more than one of the above, E, none of the above. Answer, silicon, explanation, silicon is the primary element used in the manufacturing of computer chips, specifically in the form of silicon wafers. Silicon wafers are the base material upon which integrated circuits, ICs, and microchips are fabricated. Silicon semiconductor properties make it an essential material for the electronics industry.